Doug, the three most significant numbers for Michael Brantley in the 2018 season will be, I think we need to say first, that when he's been on the field, he's been very productive mm -hmm. still. That also applied last year before the season ended the way it did, and he wasn't ready for the playoffs, clearly. So I'm going to say recovery time. I mean, they always say, well, he'll be ready for spring training or he'll be ready in April. We've always seen this happen with, with players. They start, and then they have to stop. Then they go on the DL and they come back. So I think they need to give him more recovery time, even if it cuts into his, mm -hmm. his games. And games in the outfield. Listen, he gets hurt out there. It's happened more than once. The more they can use him, and at my first point, as a DH, I think the longer he can be effective for them in 2018. So, I, I don't disagree with anything you said. Um, that's said, a first. I said number three, OPS. His OPS last year, I think, was over 800. <laughs> Pretty close to him at his peak. And again, the issue would be if when he's playing, all of a sudden there's a huge drop-off. The issue is getting him on the field and keeping him on the field when all of a sudden he can't perform to the mm -hmm. player level he's been that would be a whole different issue. So you do have to monitor that. Number two, I'll agree with games in the outfield. But number one in the end is just at-bats. It's just, I mean, what would you hope from this guy? 300 at-bats? Would that be successful if he gives you 300 good at-bats this year? Yeah, and I, I think their, their expectations, or at least their hopes, are more than that. And yeah. it, that's where it just gets a little risky with him.